Did you know that Lainey can compute layers in multiple regions? Today I am going to show you maybe a hidden feature of Lainey that we use a lot of the time. Here I am going to first start by showing you my anatomy. So this is my anatomy. You can see that I have cut out a fairly large chunk of the brain. Okay, this data is at 0.2 mm isotropic resolution. Here you can see that I segmented two ice cream scoops, one in the left Heschel's gyrus region and the second one in the left calcarine sulcus region. And now I will show you how even this input can be used to generate layers in Laney. Okay, now let's navigate to my Laney terminal. I'm just using Laney in its default form. So now let's see, it should take a couple of minutes because as you can see this is a fairly large nifty. After a minute the process has finished. So now let's have a look at the outputs. Now I'm going to load the layers file. This is what most people make use of. Here you can see that Laney has computed layers in both regions of interest that were segmented and they were not connected. So this is advantageous because it means that if you are only focused on analyzing separate regions of interest, you only need to segment very well those parts of the brain, but not the other regions. So now I'm going to show you the metric file. So you can see that in this file, each gray matter voxel has a value between 0 and 1, indicating its relative cortical depth, normalized by the cortical thickness. You can see that both regions have this metric file, which you can use to generate layers in different ways. And as the final output, I'm going to show you the mid gray matter file, which we use to have a look at our morphology. You can see that two separate regions of the brain are nicely used. That's all for today. Thanks.